Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we've got... Oh, no. Why am I not playing with dwarves? Kislev Circus versus Amazons. Probably one of the worst matchups in Blood Bowl. Oh, no. I was like, oh, we're playing with dwarves. Amazons versus dwarves. This will be dead easy. Oh, no. Wait a second. Okay, well, if we get extremely lucky, we can win this one. Otherwise, this is a massive, massive, massive loss. Um, and this is us. We've got a player with block. That's our thing. They've got oodles of players with dodge. Uh, Circus says I feel like betting big tonight. Uh, well, we'll get your prediction up. There you go. There's a prediction. It's up. Uh, and then the other two teams come from the tier 2 slash tier 3 subscriber pool. If you're a tier 3 subscriber, you get two votes. If you're a tier 2 subscriber, you get one vote. Um, there's about 20 votes being cast at the moment, give or take. Um, maybe 25. So, um, one person's voice has quite a big sway. And what they also do is they get a little... They get together amongst themselves um, and basically terrorise me. Should have had lizards. Uh, yes, it is giraffe, yeah. Uh, Hype says, what well, I'm to the chaos. Uh, I haven't remade them off stream, so I didn't want to remake them on stream. So I'll, I'll be bringing those to the party soon. You're on a 70-30 matchup, says Rolex. Well, yeah, it's the 30. Yeah, maybe. I, I'd say it's 80-20, actually. If Because if I was the Amazons, there's no way I don't win this matchup. I, I would look I would look at this from the opposite point of view and go, brilliant, we've won. Um So we'll we'll see. Um as we're slightly better at oh dear. <laughs> as we're better at defending, let's go uh defending. I feel like I've played this guy recently. Didn't he do this? I'm sure I've played him not long ago, and I played him under incredibly bad circumstances. Hello. Long time since I have had time to be here. Hey, Ben. How are you? Ah, we'll see. Uh, are you well, Ben? And you're on your 11th month. I hope I hope I get to see you next month for the birthday. Uh, the wheel is a con. Whoever win, wins the spins is outvoted by Eclipse anyway, because then you don't play them like you said he would. I literally do, Santa. I, I am literally bound by time. All the four teams get fair play. Matter. It doesn't matter if I played this guy recently. It doesn't matter or not, right? It's not an ideal kickoff event.
just bought a house. I've been very busy. Oh, congratulations. Second time trying to start them this season. That's unfortunate. Now, the one, th one thing we... Well, the one thing. We have two things going for us. Uh, number one is we have a guard bear. Number two, we have diving tackle slash uh, a block player. If those things go for us, then yay. I was about to say, so long as we keep our players on the field, this is actually a very winnable match. Um, but what you don't want to see uh, is just hemorrhaging players for no reason. It's super important that players just survive for the first couple of blocks. Uh, and, and although the Amaz Amazons are armor 7, that's actually a lie because we've got to roll a 6 plus to knock them over. Um, they only have to roll a 3 plus, uh, 4 plus to knock us over. So, yes, they're a lower armor class, but actually they're a, a, mo a more survivable team. Uh, Morkos! That's right, you got me. What else do you need? Hello, Morkos. How are you? Hello, Mia Mia. I drunk spun rookie kids left twice last night. Won both games by soft concedes. Now I have two guards. I keep playing the team. <laughs> they moan a lot, don't they? And it's the panting as well. Does it make sense to try hard surfing Amazons? Possibly, yeah. Is this activating yeah. something inside Davo? Uh, nope. So we're looking for a pal. That's not a pal. That's not a pal either. Looking for a pal. It's not a pal. And they're looking for a pal. That's not a pal. So I see what you did there. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dice. No pal. Don't worry, everyone. We'll find a pal at some point. It'll be glorious. Hello, Greetings, Porcelet. Thank you, indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed.
Uh, anyone who is around who hasn't signed up for the GG Tour tournament, there is 300 people in the channel. Please, can you go and sign up for the GG Tour tournament? Um, if anything, if nothing else, it, su it supports me and the admin team um, by making them do awesome things. So if you are planning on playing, please sign up. Sign up today. Commit to playing two games of Blood Bowl. <clears throat> uh, when is this? Uh, it's not this coming, not next weekend, the weekend after. The 11th and 12th. We've been advertising it for about the last month. So uh, I'm hopeful that people are not going to go, oh God, it's only a week away. Um, we didn't know. Yeah. Um, Porcelet, I appreciate the subscription. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, yes, please sign up and make more work for us. Well, I'd like to see the admins have to work for a living. We do actually love how the pools play out. Yeah. The GG what now? <laughs> how many people don't know about GG Tour? Nice. Yenma and um, Drew, okay. Okay, like, okay, so genuinely, genuinely, uh, GG Tour is a two stage competition. Uh, stage one is the qualification that is held in two weeks time on the 11th and 12th of november uh, or the 12th and 13th 12th and 13th of november and that is win two games of blood bowl um over a four hour period qualify done the qualifiers run for a full 48 hour period of time so there's loads of loads of choice about when you want to qualify right basically you play when you want to play um that's the idea And then the second phase, I don't know why I did that. Um, second phase of the qualification uh, is the straight knockout tournament, which we run afterwards. And that is... Oh, a pow! Pow! Oh my god, a pow! Mighty blow. Mighty no! Another pow! Oh my god! How many pows can one man roll? Without breaking armor. Fuck me. There we go. Uh, yeah, so the second phase is then a straight knockout uh, of six games over three games per day uh, of the following weekend. If you win that or you do really well in it, you'll earn a cash prize. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I am completely un uncheerable. I am an unreasonable blood bowl player. I expect everything to just work. I'm kind of curious where this ball's going.
Well, if we happen to roll a pow here, there's some quite exciting things we can do. We didn't. We'll just take the two dice. Additional two dice. Nope and nope. So there's a two dice there. We've still got our blitz. And I really want the bear to be doing a three dice block. That needs to go there just to shore this lank, uh, flank, this lank up. Um, let's get you off the floor. We'll bear block here. So yeah, ultimately I do hope people will go sign up. Um, the idea behind the old concept is that if people are having a lot of fun, then we might see uh, an expansion of that in Blood Bowl 3. Uh, but we do need to see people actually sign up, otherwise, like, well, if people don't want it, we won't do it. Um. Evening. Played my first tabletop tournament this weekend. Oh, I'm wow. hooked. Oh, wow. Henning, that's awesome. Where did you play? So much better on real dice. It is really good, isn't it? I think it's time. The combination of free hand set and diving tackle takes him down. Wowzers. It took it took both players to do that. It's not time, but it's certainly time to surf this Amazon. Kinroth 100. Chalice spoilers in Discord DM as usual. Oh, nice. Right. Stay put. Two, three. block 
This is the better route. Oh, don't do that. Right. Okay. So we've still got the blitz on. Still got the blitz. We'll stop that Amazon being obnoxious because actually if we can stop her... Whoa, no. Uh, if we can stop her being annoying... I think we might actually have this. Got one. So the choice here is to actually throw the block or not. If I throw the block and it goes wrong, um, we've got a problem. He's only got one, two, three, four players, but I've not got much either. And it's his turn five. I think I'm going to leave it because the, the, the stupid bear there is painful. The stupid bear is painful. It did ruin the T-shape. Yeah, yeah. But Amazons are not quick, so if we look where the ball can get to, it's not like he's going to get miles past us. to fill that square in. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. We've got to take the two dice, haven't we? Yeah, I've got to take the two dice here. It's a two plus to do that. Yeah. Yeah, we're taking it on. Okay. That goes there. We'll give ourselves a little bit of a fail fail estate. Oh wow. Free pal? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. You're an idiot. Why did I draw? Why did I use you? Why did I do that? It literally made no sense.
should squirt. Keeps those two locked. Because I don't I don't I don't want to see a 1D to unlock two. Yes, you can have one back, but those two are locked. Semi locked. that going? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no! Do it again. Drop it. Pretty unfair. Ah, that's a shame. That's a shame. I thought we I thought we played that out pretty well actually. And the game's like, nope, fuck you. You need to go there. You need to go there. <laughs> yes! For a level. Uh, no level, but still pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, smug mode. Well, <laughs> no. Trust me, I'm a professional. So, what have you actually got left as a resource to do stuff with? Two tackle zones there makes a big difference, right? I'm going to want the bear to be able to do stuff. Never mind. Don't think you can get around the side there, no. So if you go in there. Okay. 
We'll try and pick this up. Oops. Shouldn't have tried to pick that up. Should have just stood there. Whoops. Whoopsie. But I don't get any powers. Well, I didn't get any powers to start with. We turned out we rolled loads of powers. We were like Captain Pow of the Good Sheep. Good Sheep Pow. But remember, our opponent is completely without uh, reroll diversification. Yeah, I, I'm aware of the scoring threat, lack of uh, the lack of scoring threat. Uh, but at the same time, he's not. Oh yeah, no, that's not true actually. Uh, that's three, four, five, six. So he's got anything, anything here is a scoring threat, right? So he's still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got he's got eight scoring threats. So in fact. As a lack of scoring threats as a statement, that's completely untrue. He has eight scoring threats. He couldn't have more scoring threats um, if he tried. <clears throat> Maybe that's actually untrue as well. He could have more scoring threats if he tried. I can go there for scoring. I don't really want to use you as a scoring threat. I haven't got many other choices. Well, well. That's leveled. Fear the gooch. Hello, Jimmy. Thank you very much for the raid. Um, I'm just sat here pondering the meaning of life. Um, I think we're going to go for it. I think we're going to go for the big score. Currently trying to have over with some Amazons. That's good enough. He's absolutely good enough. Nah, my luck run out eventually. Cold search got KO'd. Um, I saw you were casting some more uh, Chalice games. Um, any good ones, do you think? Uh, and welcome, Jimmy viewers. Uh, hopefully, uh, people have signed up for the GG Tour. It's only two weeks away now. Uh, 
we're nearly at the second prize banding pool people already. Um, and maybe we'll get to the top one. Who knows? We are a simple three plus away from scoring. <laughs> what was it though, Jimmy? Was it the best game of Blood Bowl ever? Right? Because if it wasn't the best game of Blood Bowl ever, well. I do enjoy a little bit of uh, clickbait on my title. So we go for two dice here. Casually roll a pal, kill that Amazon. Good fucker. We're now on three plus three plus three plus to score. Well, actually, no, we're not. We're block here. Push that there. Leap. So stay put. Because if that's a pal, we're through. Ah, oh, awesome. There we go. And then we can score on a three. Yeah, we've we've it's been really weird. Like the the start of the half was terrible. We couldn't knock anything over uh, to save our own life. However, um, later on in the drive, uh, we've rolled a lot of pals, um, and it's caused the one nil score. So, yeah. yeah, this dude is the halfling champ, right? What me? No, I'm I I play a little bit of halflings, but I wouldn't say I'm a halfling specialist. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wowzers. It's nine versus 11, everyone. Nine versus 11. In the game that I said we had no chance in, we're winning 1 0 and we're playing up players. Um, half time score is unbelievably Davo winning. Final score. Andy barely knows a fling from the hole in the ground. I mean, I've played flings every season for the last three seasons. Uh, for those of you who've been counting and tracking. Azores has just made the 30k back I lost the other day. Hang on, what? You predicted on me scoring? You're insane. Uh, let's put the ball on the five-point player. Need to roll a power anyway, so whatever. So block, block. Stand that there. Probably, probably blitz it. Um, so block and push it there. Block and push it there. Blitz and push it into here. Block it off. Block it off. Gets rid of the blodger. Takes the bear block. Um, and then we'll punch that in the face. We'll step forward. And in fact, we probably don't want to be caught out with our pants down over here. So I'll step slightly off centre to go that way. 
and wine. I did not wine through fling. You don't. You you don't throw flings, right? That's not how you win with flings. Where'd the ball go? It's not my fault. I try and play flings optimally. Save that ball. Nah, go fetch the ball. How much of a trade is it worth here uh, fouling this off the field? It's a bludger. They're annoying. Worth it. Optimally to Andy is like a bash team, which that's absolutely not true. Uh, to anyone know if Bretonians are returning in the new rule set, nobility, no, or nothing. Uh, uh, so my my opinion is that nobility are, um, are the new Bretonians. Oh my word, no, this is not. No, don't do that. Okay. Of anyone who likes watching players get served. So that goes in there, that just pushes that off. Cool. We take the block there, then we possibly blitz that. Hmm. Alright. In, that's the free player. Blitz there, and that is everything. Hmm. Nah, I need I need the non-contact piece. So I push you away. So. Here we go.
Hmm. Uh, gonna go for the three TDs. I don't know. Um, uh, what I what I would really like to do is throw the ball between these two players. Uh, you're on three. You're on five. That that would be really helpful. That would be really helpful. Not sure what I'll do yet. Um, because uh, the the issue, I guess, is at one. At 1 0, we've not won it. We're winning, right? With an ing on the end. But 1 with an O on the end. No, we've not won it. We're just an ing, not an on. Done. Whatever. Yeah. Definitely helps. Right, this is a super interesting turn. We are winning. And there are players right near the sideline in contact. Just not actually sure we can do anything with this. That squares your blocker square. I don't think I'm going to try this. I'm going to bugger out. I'm going to hit that though. So if we hit there. I can leap this out of the way to safety. The bear can have three dice on that. So we've got the two players we want to score with going to go and run into the green grass. We've got this. Slam of a very different play style to Bert's. Sla so, yeah. I don't know if you guys have watched what I'm trying to do, but but broadly, my play style with, with this team is I, I'm treating it like a, um, a human team. And then occasionally I press like a, an emergency special release button where the leap comes into play. But it's basically humans with 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 tricks. Oh, I suspect he's cross. Um, six six removals um, at this stage is quite a lot. Could have gone that way, right? There was two assists there. There was only one here. He should have gone block. Should have blocked that way. All right. Uh, nope. I haven't got any things in the end zone. Hooray. 
Nice. Not going to do anything with the bear. The bear is pivotal in this turn. I'm going to just sacrifice that one. So much for the bear being a pivot. Considering how lucky we were in the rest of that turn, we can then throw that block. And next turn, we will throw that. We've got this. Tomo says I try and win a... Yeah, it's it's um I, I miss the catches. Uh but what it does give you is just because everything's strength three, it's like playing it's like playing rubbish dwarves, right? <laughs> um it, it's just a strength three dwarf team with no block armor uh, armor eight. Um <laughs> So I suppose it's got a lot of similarities with not a dwarf team. But uh yeah. Oh no, it's a go for it. Oh, it's a go for it, you big dickhead. Trust me, I'm a professional. Mmm, professional knobhead. Oh dear. It's not a four plus. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do another one, Raffers. Yeah, yeah. Man scan spool 100. Oh, wow. Hello. Thank you very much for the first time cheer and first time chat as well. Uh, everything else is doing really well, right? That's fives to get away. Ah. Thank you very much for the cheer. Uh, my current ho is home in fire engines, but no one is stopping me from going in. Suspicious? How many fire engines? What did you set fire to? 
three trucks. Ooh, okay. Not going to level both of them. At best, we'll level one. I'm going in. Good luck, Raffers. I've got Toblerone. One of the top three chocolates in the world. Chocolate tier list when? <laughs> One of the top three triangular chocolates. Hang on, is, is anyone here trying to suggest that I'm wrong? Get out. It's a double go for it to score on the right player. Cool. It's a double go for it. Score on the right player. Good luck. Good luck. No, no, no. We had so many chances to level that go dude. So many chances. And the game's like, no, we shall roll four ones in a row and then roll fucking useless dice at the end. Never mind. Eh, uh, Neville says no. Now, Top three chocolates. It's dead easy. You just have to stay with me for a second. Honourable mentions, first of all. Terry's chocolate orange. Orange chocolate. That is definitely fifth. Um, number four. The little sticks. The mint sticks. Matchmakers. Um, or, uh, after eight mints. That's four. In at three. <clears throat> everyone's favourite little chocolate bar. The little M uh, Maltesers. They melt in your hand, not in your mouth. Number two, Cadbury's Dairy Milk, because that is just an all-time classic. It's been around for a very long time, and it's very, very good. And then at number one, it is hellaciously expensive. You have to all mortgage off several parts of your house to buy one. It's Toblerone. Right, they are your top five. We don't need to argue about it. They just are, okay? It is a good list. Thank you very much. I will accept you personally can reorder them. But they are the top five. You, fellow kids? They are the top five. Chocolate oranges top three. Oh, chocolate. Oh, dark chocolate. Glenn says. Yeah, like, yeah. Bourneville, sixth chocolate. That's six. Bourneville, six. Because you can't eat, you couldn't eat an entire tub of Bourneville. Um, so it's not in the top five. But it is very good. Uh, ooh, the lineman buys. Yeah, Rick, they've got star player points on them. Uh, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just going for it. 
Because because ultimately they are is super important. To me anyway. Hmm. Dodge is really nice here. Dodge is really nice here. It's not what I'm going to take, but it is really nice here. Uh, we're going to take Mighty Blow. Because we like Bang Bang. <laughs> oh dear. That's us. That gives us 12 players as well. Um, so now if one dies or gets lost in the fire. Um, sorry. Gets lost. Then it gets fired. 